It's been called too risky, but noted British explorer Sir Rano Fiennes will lead a team aiming to complete the first ever winter crossing of Antarctica on foot, a grueling expedition known as the coldest journey that's just getting underway and won't be complete for over a year, surviving temperatures that average 60 below. And Missoula-based Talos Outdoor Technologies' popular cold Avenger masks will be a key piece of the gear. They were researching the top gear in the world and they asked for samples. Uh, a year later, we get the results back and they said that we were selected. So they showed us that data and it was, it was really amazing for us. The Cold Avenger masks have already proven popular not only here in the Rockies, but on expeditions around the world. And Stampin says it's those features that Fines and his team needed for the Antarctic crossing, keeping them not only comfortable but healthy. Mostly the moisture management, the heat control, and the humidification of airways. That's critical in extreme cold, especially with prolonged exposure, because even small respiratory problems can become deadly. And the expedition wanted the simplicity of the Cold Avenger mask with its detachable breathing apparatus on a journey where there's already more than enough complexity to deal with. For Talus, the expedition is a major accomplishment that can be used in marketing. A lot of, of what we've done so far has been word of mouth, and we, we've been really growing it organically. But for us to be selected by the coldest journey, it's really good because we can push that towards, you know, the northern slope in Alaska or Greenland and Siberia and those places. So it's really been a good thing for us. At the same time, the company says it's keeping its customers here in Montana and the U.S. in mind, continually refining designs that work not only for expeditions, but for more average winter pursuits. A anytime we can see our, our friends and neighbors or anybody succeed in what they're doing um, and still live in Missoula, it's really it's special for us. In Missoula, Dennis Bragg, MTN News.